Okay, so welcome back. We're gonna now try and uh, prove my point, or I'm gonna try and prove my point. So let me just talk about the wine for a minute before we go into the experiment. Here we go. It's a uh, Domaine du Grand Veneur, Alain Jaume, Clos de Sixth, Lyrac, 2008. So Alain Jaume, Domaine du Grand Veneur, very popular producer from Southern Rhone. Um, mostly makes uh, the, the well-known Chateauneuf du Pape, Alain Jaume, uh, Domaine du Grand Veneur, is, uh, is quite well reputed. Is that even a word? I don't know. Um, anyways, Lyrac is a little village close to Chateauneuf du Pape that doesn't get as much limelight as Chateauneuf du Pape, but is recognized as um, a village that produces good wine. So this is a mix of Grenache, Syrah, and Mourvedre, which are the three most popular grapes or varietals in that area. Um, 2008, not a great vintage in that area. Um, 2007, 2005, and 2009 are the, the three vintages in recent history that have been really good for that region. Um, so we're going to have another episode when we talk about more the, the vintages. But uh, in this case, we should get a wine that's not quite as concentrated as what we're used to. Uh, for those of you who, who drink wine from that region, uh, Côte du Rhône, quite often. Uh, but this is supposed to be uh, this is supposed to be good. It, it was... Uh, somebody at the SAQ that told me I should try it out. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, try and see here, this, um, I left half the wine in a bottle and um, put a, a cork, not a cork on it, but uh, a, a bouchon on it. Sorry for the French expression. Pump the air out. So it should give us a similar feel to what, uh, to when you just open the wine. And then we have half uh, the bottle that's been sitting out for two and a half hours now. So we're going to see if we can see a difference uh, between the two. So I'll start with this. You might notice I have a bit of wine in my glass already. I taped a French episode a few minutes ago. So when I first opened it, all I could smell was the acid and uh, the fruit wasn't present. Now, even still in the bottle, it's coming out. I'm getting sort of raspberry and blackberries mostly. It smells quite fresh. Doesn't do much. Doesn't um not, not too much going on in the mouth. Let me try the one that's been sitting out for two and a half hours. Um, basically, it cut really short, so I don't know if that's because it was in the bowl and not sitting out for long enough, or if it's just a wine that's like that. We're going to try and see the difference here. Okay, definitely get less acid, a lot more fruit on the nose. Uh, but not very aggressive. This doesn't seem like a fruit bomb that we might be used to from that region for those of you who uh, drink Côte du Rhône on a regular basis. It's probably because of the vintage 2008, but I haven't had too many 2008s from that region, so can't say for sure. Surprisingly, and the same thing I observed when I did the French episode a few minutes ago, the tannins have gone up. So I get more of the dry feeling in the mouth, the cotton mouth feeling is more present, which is surprising. Usually uh, leaving a, a wine to sit out for a while um, will uh, lower the, the tannin feeling or will uh, lighten the tannins if you want. Um, So it seems to me that it's a little bit more um, integrated, all the flavors, a little bit more balanced than it was um, when I tasted it from the bottle. Still, the, the acid and the tannins are sort of a little bit overwhelming. The nose is beautiful. You think you're going to get a lot of fruit, but, and I couldn't put my finger on it earlier, but here's what I think. It's lacking mid-palate. So what I mean by that is that you take the sip, you taste the fruit right away, and then nothing for a couple seconds 
and then when you swallow you get a little bit of the tannins you get a little bit of the acid so this wine is not um, it's not my cup of tea I, I was thinking this was going to be a great one because I'm a huge Côte du Rhône fan and uh, I've had many Vaqueras and Gigondas that are on my uh, top 10 list but um, this one is lacking something and what it's lacking is th that what I was talking about that mid palate um, it's not well integrated uh, it's not it's not doing much for me uh, you get the fruit a little bit at the beginning you get the acid at the end it's not um, yeah, it's not doing it for me so I would not recommend it but uh, if you want to try it it's a good producer a good region um, maybe just not for me and uh, maybe to uh, it's the vintage 2008 that's supposed to be okay but not great so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time